Good morning, Real Life Christian School. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving break. I know I did. It was a good to have a week off. Hope you guys had lots of good food to eat. Hope you had a chance to spend time with family and friends. And most importantly, I hope you took time to give thanks. I hope you took an opportunity to reflect on all the various blessings that God has given you in your life, whether they're the specific blessings that God has given you personally or the general blessings that God has given everyone. Hope you had a time to, to sit back and reflect about all the things in your life. And all of us have something we can give thanks for. So I hope you had, took a chance, uh, took the opportunity uh, to do that. All right, there's only three weeks left in the semester. Can you believe it? We're almost halfway done with the school year. Three weeks left until the end of the semester. That means three weeks until Christmas break and another two weeks off. So you can be excited about that if nothing else. But only three weeks left in the semester. So it's time to get serious, time to buckle down, time to focus on the things we need to do. There's not a whole lot of time left in the semester. And so we need to make sure, some of you guys really need to get some work done before the semester is done. For you high schoolers, finals are coming up in two weeks. So let's focus, let's make sure we're doing all the work to our best ability and uh, let's make sure we're doing things the right way for the next three weeks especially as we get ready for the end of the semester. All right, let's get back into our scripture verses for this week. Our memory verse comes out of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 7 and 8. And the Christian characteristic we're looking at this week is fearlessness. As a Christian, we need to be fearless. And this is what it says in 2 Timothy. For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. So never be ashamed to tell others about our Lord. And don't be ashamed of me either, even though I'm in prison for him. With the strength God gives you, be ready to suffer with me for the sake of the good news. These verses are great. We never have to be afraid of anything because God is always with us. We don't operate in a spirit of fear, but in the spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. God has given us power. The Holy Spirit gives us power all the time. Power is an awesome thing, right? Everybody wants more power. But power without love can be used in evil and sinful ways. So God has also given us love to show us how to use that power, how to use that power in an appropriate way. And then he's also given us, as this verse says, self-discipline. This is about making good choices. We all have choices we have to make every single day. And if you're a self-disciplined person, then you, you know how to have good judgment. And that's actually, when you look at the Greek word, the specific translation there is judgment, having sound or good judgment. Here it's, it's translated as self-discipline. But we need to be able to make good choices with our power and our love. All three of those things work together in order to operate in the way that God wants us to operate. But at, when we operate in those things, we don't have to have fear at all. Never be ashamed to stand up as a Christian. I know some of you guys have a problem talking about Jesus in Bible class, let alone going out and talking about Jesus to a stranger on the street. We should never be ashamed to talk about God, to talk about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We should always have boldness and confidence. And if you don't have that, then I would suggest you need to pray to God, and you need to pray to the Holy Spirit specifically to empower you, because that's what the Holy Spirit does. The Holy Spirit empowers you to spread the gospel. Just take a look at Peter. Take a look at Peter before he received the Holy Spirit. And what did he do? He denied Christ three times. After he received the Holy Spirit, he's preaching the gospel in the streets of Jerusalem. He was emboldened. He didn't have any fear at that point. And that's what Paul is talking about in this verse. Now, 2 Timothy was written by Paul. He wrote it to Timothy, who was a young pastor. He was encouraging Timothy in the leading of the church. And it's important to note that Paul was in prison when he wrote this letter. And why was he in prison? For preaching the gospel, for being a Christian. The Roman Empire, they were not cool with Christians at the time. Nero was the emperor, he hated Christians. He killed Christians, he tortured Christians. He didn't like them at all. And yet Paul was not going to stop preaching. He just wasn't. You know, I, I heard a story a few weeks ago. Uh, Miss Love actually wrote it to us uh, in, in through Quick Schools, uh, gave us this little uh, uh, story of what happened in her class, and somebody in her class had actually asked, Miss Love, what if the new president says we aren't allowed to be Christians anymore, and if we are, we go to jail? One of the kids in her class actually answered, I'd go to jail. And hopefully, for all of us, that would be our answer. If our government told us that it was all of a sudden illegal to be a Christian, or you would go to jail, I hope all of us would end up in jail, that we would not close our mouths, that we would not be afraid 
because we have nothing to be afraid of because God is in control. Let me tell you, there's a lot of fear in our country right now. A lot of fear. If you watch the news, you see a lot of fear. If you go on Facebook, you see a lot of fear. People are, aren't sure which direction our country is headed. People don't know what's gonna happen in the next few months or in the next few years. And people are afraid. We don't need to be afraid. God is in control. God gives us power, love, and self-discipline. And with those things, we don't ever have to be afraid of anything. And we can still go about being a Christian, spreading the gospel, telling others about Jesus Christ. I know it can be intimidating at times, but I can guarantee you there are opportunities every day to share the gospel with someone. Even in situations that you might not think would be an opportunity to spread the gospel. For example, I'll go over Christmas break, talking with a person, not a Christian, and they asked me a question about my career choices. They knew that I used to be a Tiger trainer, and they know that I am now a school principal. And they asked me, what, what information did I use to make that decision, to make the career change? Because this person was thinking about a career change. And so they were looking at it from an analytical perspective. And immediately when I answered him, I knew what he wanted to hear, but I knew what I was also gonna tell him because I knew the truth. And I knew that God told me to make my career change. I had prayed about it. I had sought God's wisdom and God's will in making this decision. And through lots of various ways, God told me I needed to make this career change. When I told this person that I prayed about it, that I asked God for what God wanted, that was not what they wanted to hear. And they even told me afterwards, well, that doesn't help me much, because he didn't believe in God. But I opened up a, a line of communication with this person about spiritual things, about God, about Jesus Christ, about praying through this discussion. And I, there's no way I should have been afraid to say that because that's the truth. The truth is I sought God in making this decision. And when he asked me how I made the decision, I needed to be bold and just come out and tell him exactly how I made the decision with the help of God. And really we can turn any opportunity, any conversation into a talk about God. We just have to be bold enough to want to do that because really God should be a part of every part of our life. So I want you to, to um, to think about these verses, I want you to think about your own life, I want you to think about your own opportunities to spread the gospel. You never have to be ashamed to be a Christian. You should always be very proud to, to know Jesus Christ, to him, for him to be a, your friend, for him to be your savior, for him to be your king. You should not be ashamed of Jesus Christ, your Lord and savior. So be emboldened by that. Hopefully your teachers will talk about uh, this with you more in class throughout the week. Uh, you folks on the Natoma side, hopefully you hear about it in chapel as well. On the Fairfield side, we actually have no chapel on Friday. We'll be rehearsing all day for our Christmas program on Friday evening. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, listen, I hope you guys take this word to heart because it's really important. The spreading the gospel is, is, is an important aspect of every Christian's life. When in doubt, people ask me all the time in, in their lives, what should I do? And I always tell them, when in doubt about what you should do with your life, go tell someone about Jesus Christ. That's the first thing I always tell them. So hopefully you guys are emboldened by this. I hope to see you guys real soon. God bless.